Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I have another block for you. This is another block for my summer sampler quilt. This one is called Amish Star and it's just a two color block. It has one print and one background and that's it. Um, this is one I thought about going ahead and adding a third color to it and decided not to. Just go ahead and follow the example that I had seen. So I think it turned out really well. So I hope you will join me and I'll show you how to make the Amish star block. Here are the fabrics that you're going to need to make the Amish star block. For A you will need four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. For B you'll need four three inch squares. For C is eight two and a half inch squares. D is one four and a half inch square. E is four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. F is four three inch squares and G is eight two and a half inch squares. And you will need to draw diagonal lines on the wrong side of the F and the G squares. So let's go ahead and get started making the Amish star block. Okay the first step is to make half square triangles with the B and the F squares. So I've drawn my diagonal line on the wrong side of the F squares. So we're just going to place them right sides together and then sew a quarter inch away from both sides of the drawn line. So this is just the two at a time method. You can use um, triangle paper, you can use other methods for making half square triangles. There's a four at a time method that you could also do and an eight at a time method. But I don't have the fabric measurements for that. So we're just going to do two at a time here. So I'm going to chain piece all of these together tonight just to kind of speed things up a little bit. So it's getting late. It is seven o'clock in the evening and this will take a while. Not that this block is going to be that complicated but uh, it takes extra time to film a video and uh, I need to go water my flower bed here in a little bit. So I'm going to do that before it gets dark. And none of these prints here are directional, so I don't have to worry about that. In fact, I'm making this block with um, just one color and the plus the background. So it should be just be a two color block. snip them apart and cut on the drawn line and then I'm going to trim them and then press and I'm going to use my um, clear, clearly perfect slotted trimmer. I have trouble remembering the name of that tool but we're just going to cut here on the drawn line and then I'll have eight half square triangles. Okay, I'm going to press, I'm going to trim these down and then I'll press them and show you the results. Okay, so now I have all of my half square triangles. I've trimmed them down and I trimmed off all the little dog ears. So those are all ready to go. So next thing I want to do is to make a four patch unit and I'll do that with adding C squares 
to them. So I'm going to lay one of them out here for you so you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to sew a C square to the half square triangle. They're all going to go like that. And then I will sew them together and then what we'll have as a four patch unit is we'll have this. So the white triangles will be facing each other. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the C squares onto the half square triangles and what you can do is just stack up stack them all together like stack all of your half square triangles so that they're all facing the same direction if I can <laughs> manipulate those and then stack all of my C squares and then they're going to be sewn together like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew all of these together and um, into the two patch units and then I'll sew them together into a four patch unit. And I'm going to sew from the side that does not have the seam on it so they'll just go through the sewing machine a little easier. Okay, now I'm going to press and then I'll sew them into four patches. Okay, so I have all of my half square triangles here and I'm just going to sew them together into four patch units. Okay, so here are the four patch units. So next thing I need to do is to make the flying geese units. And for that I will need the A rectangles and the G squares. And the G squares have a diagonal line drawn on the wrong side. So let me remove my markers here. Okay, I'm going to start on you can start on whatever side you want and there are other ways to make flying geese units. I'm just doing um, kind of the stitch and flip method but there are uh, tools you can use, there's foundation paper you can use, you know whatever works for you. But I'm going to start on the right side um, and I'm just going to stitch on the drawn line going from center top to the bottom right hand corner. And I will do that same side for each rectangle and then I'll trim and press and then I will do the left side. Snip them all apart and then I'm going to trim a half or a quarter inch away from the stitching here, the stitch line. And I'm going to press. So this is what they look like now and I'm going to sew the other side, set these over to the side. I'll use 
I'll use these for leaders and enders. And I'm going to start from the center top and go to the bottom left hand corner. Do the same thing. I'm going to trim, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance, and I'm going to press, and then the flying geese units will be done. What I want to do with the flying geese units and the e rectangles is I want to sew one of the rectangles on the broad side of the triangle, on the widest side of the triangle. So I'm going to put those right sides together and just so with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, now I'm gonna press and then we'll put all of the units together into rows. Okay, so that's the unit. So now we're ready to lay the pieces out to form the block. Okay, so now I'm ready to lay everything out so that I could put the start sewing things into rows. So here's the center, this is the D square. And I'm going to start with the flying geese units and they're going to, going to go on each side and they're going to face towards the center. So we'll just go ahead and lay them out. And then the corner units are the four patch units here. And the solid squares are going to go towards the center. just like this. And hopefully you can see the star now. Here's the star points. Of course you can make do this make this block with more colors if you wanted to. But this is the sample that I saw. So um, it just used one colored print and one neutral background. So this is what how I'm making it. Okay, I'm going to nest the seams together and I'm going to see if they will, the points will match up. So I'm going to place my pin through the point of the flying geese unit and then through the point of the half square triangle. So I got those points lined up and now I'm going to line up my units and put the pin back in and then sew the seam. Okay, on this one, I don't have to match points, but I need to try and not blunt off the point and it's on the underside here. But it should be fine as long as I stick to the quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, and then here's the last. And those seams are nesting, so let me find the points. And we'll nest them together.
lay these back out. And then I'm going to add the last, the last unit in the row. Okay, here's the completed Amish star block. And I think that turned out pretty well. Um, this one looks, uh, this one you can see the star here in the center. It looks better once you get it sewn together. When I had the units laying out before I sewed them into rows, um, the pattern wasn't as obvious. But here you can see the star, the eight pointed star, and then it branches its way out. So you can see that a little bit better now that it's all sewn together. This is one I debated on whether or not to do this center star in a second print. Um, but I chose to just follow the sample that I found, the example that I found, and um, I think it turned out okay. So this is the Amish star block. Okay, so that is it for the Amish star block. So it turned out really well. I'm happy with that. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's not too complicated. You have half square triangles and flying geese units and that's it. Um, there are a lot of points to match and you have to watch the points like on your flying geese unit so you don't blunt them off too much. But um, otherwise, you know, it's, it's fairly easy. So um, if you're a beginner, I think this is one you should try. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.